Good morning, boys and girls. So happy to see you. Happy Monday. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend and uh, that you enjoy your breakfast with lots of water, milk, fruits, whole grain food. Also, I hope that you enjoy your morning meeting with Mr. Levitt. What is a plant? What are plants? Oh, what are plants? I have something here. Remember, boys and girls, this is our bamboo plant from the classroom. And you have one that is growing right here. Another one. Remember the plant? So this is our plant in the classroom, and I had it to bring him home. Okay, so we have plants everywhere. I have plants around my house, too. I'm going to show you later on my backyard. Let's see. And also, I have some tiny, tiny seeds. Okay. And maybe you, I hope that you have seen some seeds. Some people see some seeds, some don't. But we eat seeds. Mm, yes. We're going to talk about all that later on. <clears throat> so now that we saw the plant and the seed, let's read this wonderful book that is called How a Seed Grows. And that is the t -t 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 title. And the author is Helene Jordan. And she is the writer. What is the right what the writer does? That's right. Writes the the story. Illustrated by Loretta Krupinski. And she is the illustrator. And in this case, Loretta, who is the illustrator, she draws the pictures and she colors them too. And you could be you are illustrators too because you guys have paint and draw and color so beautiful pictures. So let's see. A C how to grow A C. Okay. <clears throat> See, AC is a little plant. It is a plant that has not started to grow. Apple trees and daisies, carrots and corn, clover and wheat all grow from seeds. See? She's a farmer, the farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Hi ho, Daniel, the farmer in the dell. <coughs> You're gonna enjoy some nice songs later on. Here is a tree seed. Someday it will be a tree like this. So this one is the seed. It's not a seed like this one. The one I show you. Is a seed like this, and this seed will grow to be like this big tree. Here is a flower seed. Someday it will be a flower like this. Look at this seed. See, it's all kinds of seeds, and that seed is gonna grow to be this. This is a sunflower. And we eat some flower seeds sometimes. I love some flower seeds, don't you? Look <clears> at <throat> this beautiful picture. Tell me what's going on in this picture. Yeah, that's a family having fun. It's like a little picnic, right? On the big tree, surrounded by lots of plants. Some seeds grow slowly. These are the seeds of an oak tree. An oak tree grows very, very slowly. Suppose you planted an oak tree seed. You will be a father or a mother or even a grandmother or a great-grandmother. And the oak tree will be still growing. So this is an oak tree. They're under an oak tree. And this these are the seeds of an oak tree. Yeah, acorn. <laughs> that 
That is so nice, right? <clears throat> Some seeds grow fast. This is a bean seed. It grows very fast. It grows so fast that it becomes a bean plant in just a few weeks. See this one? That's a bean seed. The one that I show you, this little tiny seed, is a lentil seed. And we, when we go back to the classroom, we could plant a bean tree. You can plant a bean tree seed yourself. We use poor beans. You can use poor beans, bush beans, or lima beans. You can plant these seeds in eggshells or tin cans or old cups or little flower pots. Be sure that your container have holes in the bottom. We have all kinds of seeds. These are lima seeds, black bean seeds, red kidney seeds. And these are containers where you can plant them. And like it says, make sure it has holes at the bottom. So when you put water, it goes. We use eggshells. We use a pencil to make holes in the eggshell. We fill 12 eggshells with soil like this. We may hole in the soil with a finger like this. And that's how they plant it. This is an eggshell, and they put the soil inside. And then they poke a hole to put the seed. When you have made a hole in the soil, plant a bean inside it. Plant one seed in each hole. Cover the seed with soil, just like this. So cool. I love to eat beans. Anybody else like to be eat beans? I love to eat beans. Sprinkle the soil carefully with a little water. Number the shells. Write the number one. Number one. Um, first shell. Put the number two on the set on the next shell. Keep going into all the shells on number from 1 to 12. Look at that. And this is how they doing it. They numbering all the shells 1 through 12. They sharing and they doing everything together. They're helping each other. That's what you have to be doing in the classroom and at home, help each other. In the classroom, you help your friends and your teachers. And at home, you help your mommies and daddies and any other family member. Put all the eggshells in a cake, in an egg carton. Put the carton in sunlight on a wind window still. Some bean seeds grow faster than others. Our seeds began to grow in the tree day, in three days. Your bean seeds might take a little longer. You won't be able to see your seeds growing yet. They start to grow under the soil where you can't see them. See? They have, you have to wait and wait and wait. Even the cat wants to see it, but you have to wait. It takes like about maybe like two weeks around there to start seeing something. <clears throat> Water your seeds a little every day. The water soaks into the seed. The seed begins to grow. More water soaks into the seed. The seeds get fatter and fatter. 
Mm, they still helping each other. Growing the bean. Wait for three days and then dig up number one seal. It might be soft, it might be fat. Maybe it looked like the same as it did before. Soon the seeds will grow so fat that its skin will pop off. In two more days, dig up seed number two. They grow and they grow and they grow inside and then the little, you see that? It's growing, the little plant is coming out. Maybe it will look different now. Maybe the skin of this seed will be loose. So they are seeing how, what is this boys and girls? Remember we have it in the classroom? Yes, it's a magnifying glass. And you can see them. When we go back to the classroom, you could see the seeds with a magnifying glass. If you have one at home, you could see it also. Okay, we're going to come back for the next part of how a seed grows.